Okay. Let's get going. See what happens. I don't know if I want to do like no reset strats just to get some splits. And I don't think Cornell actually needs to grab this jewel. I could be mistaken. Thanks for the luck. Hello? <laughs> Levers, please. Kinda have to take this one slow because it takes some time for the thingy to do the thingy. grab this deal without falling off ideally so I gotta be careful with this guy because what I usually do in door transitions is hit L R and start and what that does is reset the default position of the N64 control stick but if you Hit L in this game. As Cornell, you're just going to transform into a wolf. What am I doing? Good power-up drop, though. Come back here. <clears throat> this will probably be a no reset. Depending on how things go. If I die like a million times to something, then who knows? No shoes, Yif run. You know, I'm not even sure what that implies. All right, it's time to activate werewolf magic. Don't touch me, you mother- <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so that was the thing that happened. This is completely optimized. <laughs> Mary trying to find which torch has the key. <laughs> that was pretty good. So, can I hit this? Kind of. Why does Cornell go on the ship? I don't know. I thought werewolves didn't really like water. I don't know the story behind this. I'm pretty sure when you fight this guy for the second time, you want to be using level 3 axes. But I don't really know the axe placement. So I just end up using main attack. <laughs> Free shipping? Oh my god. <laughs> and there is a skip coming up in the forest that I'm actually not really confident about. So, no reset run, I might end up saving there. There are so many, like, wild and crazy leap skips in this game that never end up working well for me because I'm bad. I 
missed. Oh, I already have max power up. So we're gonna take this safety save right here. And oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, I should grab this jewel. End up throwing an axe. Solid. Hop uses the punomatic coffee maker. <laughs> Jesus. Night one, thanks for stopping by. Take care, dude. So I think you have to go right here, line this up, something like this. Okay. More often than not, I fail that. That's why I took that save. First try tie. <laughs> we'll just edit out all of the deaths. Okay, if you're good, you can use some axes here. We're gonna do the axe skip method. And ideally, we don't want those. Right there, right there. Hello? I think you can one-shot this guy with an axe. I missed. And I wasted a bunch of axes. So that's cool. Okay, and during the race, I forgot to grab the winch lever. Have to remember to grab that. Or else it's going to be a total of three trips up right tower. Two trips is already too much. That's unfortunate. So I've seen some people do this as werewolf, maybe I should, but I end up just grouping them like this, toss some axes, okay that kind of sucked, I need to grab a lot of cards, oh he's still alive, what are you doing you dingus? Okay, if I can grab these two, we're good. We're good. I think. So I need to grab some of this junk and the winch lever. What? I'm allowed to say dingus. <laughs> but I'm not saying sun... No. It's sun card. Huh. 
Okay. Not too bad. First try lever pull. Always a good thing. What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> what is even going on? So we have at least two of each. That's what we're looking for. What's Call of Duty's acronym? COD. I don't think you can make that without grabbing. But I never give up hope. <laughs> yeah, this guy is much worse than Reinhardt in terms of prancing. So I think you want to change the camera here so this doesn't lag. What the hell? The glorious prancing. Does it get any better than this? It actually doesn't. Dog, please. Oh, my dog. So I've seen people wait here and kill both of them. I go up here for no reason. Mostly because I don't know why. I'm going to grab the safety meat. Never leave home without safety meat. I'm not sure if it's better to do a standing jump through there. I don't really know any kind of optimal jumping patterns in this game. Or anything optimal. <laughs> you never go anywhere without the safety meet. Thank god Drew isn't here. I think Drewski would be having a field day with that one. Okay, op, now you're really trying. <laughs> I don't know why people break that torch, but I'm going to do it. I think they say it reduces lag, but I don't notice anything. I'm going to jump into a plant. Perfectly normal. Yeah, eat shit. Just go, just go ham on axes. That guy had no idea what hit him. I don't think I grabbed that. I didn't. Yeah, the axe level 3 does everything. It's 
kind of ridiculous. <laughs> you skipped his cutscene. You just murdered him with lightning axes. I've never been able to get this cycle. I don't know why I'm trying this. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, it worked. No, stop, stop. You fuck. That's literally the first time I've grabbed it when it was kind of retracting into the wall. Sixty nine jewel hype. I've killed myself here by jumping enthusiastically, so we're gonna slide enthusiastically instead in the hopes that I don't die. So, how come she spawns on the right sometimes and sometimes on the left? I still don't understand that. So this next room coming up is the biggest cause of resets. This is typically where the run would die. If it were to die. Please no. Please no. You fuck. You fuck. You f uh, you know what? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Okay. 100% under control at all times. Well, there are a lot of those knights that you can farm. They drop sun cards, moon cards. There's also a contract where you can buy them. What am I stuck on? <laughs> and stop being stuck on it, please. So, this one I'm probably going to be a garbage baby. Just chill. I used to slide across here, but that's dangerous as all hell. Yeah, we played that way too safe. Uh, this song was originally in Bloodlines, I believe. No, you fuck! What are you doing? <laughs> Get off the train. It's also in Circle of the Moon. I can't remember if it's one... It, I think it's one more over, actually. Yeah, the rope walking from Goron City. <laughs> A 
Or from Mario Party? Who knows? Man, I haven't played Mario Party in so long. I feel like I only played Mario Party 2, because my, I think my brother sold Mario Party 1. He also sold our copy of Mario Kart, and I've never forgiven him for that. What's up, Cat? Good to see you. How you doing? dead. Runs dead. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> Considering dropping out of college to play video games? Hell yeah, that sounds like a good goal. You fuck! You guys trying to feel up on my sockless, shoeless feet? Not good. Yeah, why did they have to add zombies? <laughs> Everything these days needs zombies, huh? Don't spike me. Hey. Hey. Did I get you with that one? Nice. I feel like I should save there. Because I'm not confident with these jumps. Please no rocks, please no rocks. Got it? You have to get up early, but you might end up staying up and watching this. Yo, if you gotta go to sleep, go to sleep. You do you. So the reason I saved there was because I never remember the order here. I don't want to look like a dumbass. I'm not supposed to grab that. Uh, this one. Um, this one. D -d 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 like, I have to look at both symbols, and then from that, I kind of know which one I don't usually step on. I can't just like look at one and be like, oh, that's it. So after this box, I think we do all of this without stopping? Question mark? Please. I think we're good. I'm just jumping on faith here. I did that. Why didn't you short hop? Okay, that was stupid. 
grab this for no reason. And it's so late for a bunch of you guys. Dang. Does that not kill him? In okay. Op, are you supposed to kill him with one level 3 axe, or is it axe and then attack? Please don't shoot me. And I think you're supposed to kill this guy too, because he's going to snipe me here. Hello? You know, I've had more problems with the camera in this game than in CB64. I'm not going to lie. Cat, you got every achievement in Shantae and the Pirate's Curse today? Nice. I don't even think I've got all the achievements in that. You know, that is something I want to go back to. I'm thinking that's going to be like a weekend random stream, but I do want to go back to Pirate's Curse. Pirate mode, any percent out of bounds. That is a really fun category. It's just frustrating as hell because uh, you soft lock all the time if you're bad. Man, these jumps though. Uh, the other kind of not great part about it, holy shit, is you have to do run run roddy tops every single run. <laughs> and that gets tedious. Oh, I thought he was going to shoot me for some reason. So to kill that turret, it is axe and attack. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, you'll find that most people in this channel all kind of like the same thing. So it's very common to see everyone else in other channels. I feel like he was supposed to die. <laughs> I have no idea what was going on in that. I think I'll pick this up for no reason. Probably this. Oh, wait, there's a skip here. Let's not forget that. Okay, and I have no idea how to practice this one. Or how to even do this one. I missed it. Just gonna kill him the slow way. Cause I feel like I'm doing that setup correctly, but he's not doing the correct attack. What are you doing there? I feel like he's not supposed to be there. Maybe I'm going slow. Is this a jewel? Yeah, no. <laughs> I think the other one was. rather do Roddy Tops flawlessly 10 times and have to potion drop float. Oh, potion drop food float. Yeah. I mean, I don't really see those as that hard. There are a lot of... I mean, I think getting soft locked in that purple block and tan line aisle really sucks. Because that one you can do the same input and still get stuck. Am I supposed to be werewolf for this? Don't hit me. <laughs> Cornell straight dabbing up hills. You know, I really don't need that much heals. Uh, I could have done this differently. Let's 
It's kind of a weird cycle. Okay, so this one I know I need to be a wolf. So we're going to get right up in his business and attempt to get him to do that. That fight seemed like it took a long time. Huh. <laughs> Battle of the Fur Trash. Jesus. Oh, that was wonky. Huh. Please no. I always clench like crazy during this part. No, I haven't tried any strats, cat, for the hundred percent stuff. So I don't think I've even seen a hundred percent run actually. So I've got no idea. <laughs> Into the tower of meatballs. Oh, there was something I wanted to try here. Is that if you jump kind of at an angle like this... Oh, I missed it. Whoa, that was weird. You can kind of clip up onto that platform. Yeah, cat, that's pretty much it. Kind of like remastered HD-ish version of CB64 with some changed mechanics and camera, redesigned levels, that sort of thing. I think I want this question mark. <laughs> Cornell said no, so that's pretty neat. Yeah, this must, <laughs> this must hurt like a bitch. Barefoot, hot metal sort of thing. I feel like I need more jewels. I'm not really sure how many I'm supposed to have. But more is better than less. Ah, fuck. I like not thinking about things before I do them. I think I'm safe here. Man, this is all kinds of junked up. Okay, we're good. Good. That's not even swinging on this side. Good. Also good. I think these are, yeah. I want this one. Also want this one. Back to crystal meth. This guy always seems to hit me. I don't know what to do about it other than just kind of bitch slap him from the air a couple times. That usually sorts the problem out. Oh man, Groundhog Day is such a good movie. I've only seen that once, actually. I mean, the only good part about sorcery in Legacy of Darkness is the music. The redesign is really bad. I mean, you can't really judge it on easy because a lot of this stuff isn't moving or difficult. But even on normal, it's just 
really crappy design. But of course it's up to personal preference. Yeah, now there are lasers. And usually these things are like a carousel that go around, but we're playing on easy because we're garbage. I probably should have gone there. Why didn't I kill this guy? <laughs> yeah, what's not to like about this place? And these are the most kind of egregious examples of platform placement, these two. Because you can't make that without grabbing, but they're at such an awkward height that you have to jump up all the way and then fall down all the way and grab it. It is really dumb. So I think we turn into a wolf boy for this one. Just smack the crap out of him. You fuck. Oh. I'm not sure if I should be riding his ass or smacking his face. I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery. Bold to change Texas Chainsaw Split to Frankenberry Fiasco? That's not bad. That's pretty good. <laughs> but I need to keep these, or I need to keep the old ones, because they were there since the beginning, pretty much. But I like your thinking. Always ride the ass. You can't go wrong with that. Is this? Oh, this is different. Because I was just playing uh, Legacy of Darkness carry on PAL version and they have that flipped. I thought it was strange too. You're supposed to ride the ass? Okay. Good to know. Should I save here? Probably not. I will save in room three because they redesigned that room to be the worst room across either of the games. It is complete ass and a half. Holy shit. 100% under control. Uh, usually people pay extra to see that kind of thing, Vegeta. It is what it is. Okay, so we have to... Oh, there's a new way to do this skip, I just realized, but... <laughs> I don't think we're going to get it first try. We're going to try our damnedest. So the whole point is that... You wait on all of these kind of slow rotating platforms, you get to the top, you get a key to open that gate down there to get to the other side where you do the same thing, just to get out. It is a pain in the ass. Please don't fall. Okay, this is all junked up. Huh. Okay, now what is the position for this? Nice. You cannot trust those long distance ledge grabs in Legacy. It's always really terrifying. So I'm glad that worked out decently. Yay, Clock Tower. That's exactly how I feel about this. Please grab this. Nice. 
Awesome camera. Awesome camera. Awesome. Love it. Question is, can I do this before the flames hit? Nice. To be honest, that was a wild guess. I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea if I was gonna make that. Kinda concerning. I feel like I've I had said I was gonna no reset a bunch of runs and then ended up rage quitting somewhere in the stage either in that last major room or this one so that's why the split is called what it is I think it's faster. I saw Winglebert do this. And if you know anything about Winglebert, if he's playing Legacy of Darkness, you want to do what he's doing. I was not supposed to battle view. <coughs> Toasted. Toasted. I'm not even sure if I could have made that cycle based on how fast I was going. I shouldn't even attempt that, but I did. Not the worst thing in the world. That room can go a lot worse. So, the question is, do I have enough health to do this drop here? I actually don't know, so I'm probably going to heal up just in case. Because I know in the PAL version, you take a bunch of damage. So, that was completely overkill. I know. Okay, I could have survived that easily. You take more damage in the PAL version. I do know the new way to do that, but I haven't practiced it. Same with that first part of uh, room three, the key C skip. Mary, you take that meme and go home. <laughs> I'm not even going to repeat that. Jesus. <laughs> Ironic Knuckles. Ironic Knuckles posting. I don't think you're supposed to understand it. Wow, this is not CV64. That's embarrassing. Please. The 
This is actually wasting a lot of jewels. This is not good. I'm supposed to stay in wolf form. Now I'm a lame dude form. Are you kidding me? Okay, we have problems. We have problems. That would have been really nice to, to end it with. I think you go like this. I was wrong. Man, I wish I had more jewels at the end. Nice. That's not too bad, actually. <laughs> That's a new PB, for me at least. I think my PB is a 50-something.